up everyone out there in Spark and Fizz Nation? Sam Rayom representing today. I've got Eric from the color orange. Say what up Eric. What up Eric. <laughs> what up Eric. And then we got Luna, our craft guru. Today, we're going to find out about some bass playing techniques, some hidden <laughs> some hidden skills this my this uh, my friend Eric may have here and Luna's going to coach us through some bookmarks. Some bookmarks. So, I'll uh, hand it off to them and and I'll get to what I have to talk about later. So, we are making some bookmarks out of paint chips today. So I have got a whole bunch of paint chips. So Sam, do you want to pick your color? I mean, you can, you can look. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, Eric, how about uh, orange? My favorite color is purple. Um, how about orange? Orange is the color orange. There we go. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to pick... No, 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 we're, we're, we're doing orange. But I'm wearing orange and he's wearing green. I feel like it's kind of appropriate for us. I think he, I think he needs the orange. Oh, whatever. I'll do purple. Because it's such a good <laughs> So, this is sort of a do, do whatever you want kind of project. So if you want, yep, Sam's got the, the corner rounding oh, down. so satisfying. <laughs> I've been waiting to do this all day, hold on. Yes. So, okay, he's demonstrating how we round our corners with the corner rounding punch. Oh, man. They come out looking like uh, fingernail clippings for all of you at they home do. here. Like, <laughs> fingernail clippings. So walk us through this. How, how are we making bookmarks? What's the protocol here? The protocol is follow your artistic vision. So okay. we've got some Sharpies if you want to draw a free hand. We've got some stamps you want to do some stamping or if you don't Perfect. feel like you can draw. Um, takes all sorts. And we've got some studs if you want to make it a little more punk rock. And then we can punch some holes and add some ribbons on the top at the end. Okay, so I'm starting with some little mustaches and Eric picked the fish. The fish is a really, really bad choice. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst choice he could have made. For a few reasons. One, fish really smell. Especially the fish that he buys. He likes blue fish. If you've seen how oily it is, it's gross. He was telling me earlier about how much... You like bluefish, right? Awful. Um, so he's picking the stinky stamp here. I, on the other hand, have the cupcake, which is the best. <laughs> I'm very excited about this. So Eric, tell us about how you began playing bass guitar. I, uh, I learned how to play acoustic nylon string guitar from my dad. Uh, like junior high-ish. So you're like Rodrigo from Rodrigo and Gabriella. Yeah, pretty much. You have those yeah. kind of skills? Is yeah. that like where your skill set's at? Yeah, slightly above. Mm. And then, wow. then I uh, started a rap rock group in college. Kind of Rage Against the Machine-esque. Oh, okay. So and you're a Tom Morello too. Uh, Brad Whitford, I think. Is oh. The, oh, no, that's wrong. Brad Comerford. No, Tim Comerford. Tim, Tim Comerford. Comerford. That's your guy. Yeah, who played with Tom and then stuck with bass after that project, so. Very cool. Yeah, that's so he can story. play bass, but he can't select fish at his local <laughs> supermarket. Not, not for shit. Nor can he make a bookmark. That's okay, though. We have our skills, you know? You don't have to be good at everything, do you? No, you don't. You really don't. Obviously, you can't. And how long have you been playing with the color orange? Um, we've been together for a little over three years. Uh, we started just as that rap rock group was ending in college and stuck together after college. Oh, so you're a young guy. I'm 23 years young. 23 years young, people. That's what fame and fortune looks like. <laughs> That's how old you have to be. If you're older than that, you're done. Now dragons, dragon. Eric, do you know what dragons make you think of? They make me think of our upcoming show in Somerville. Oh my God, me too. What Why the hell? How did that... Oh man, our minds work freakishly alike, except in the bookmark vector. <laughs> you really just got to work on that. Um, so that's on March third, right? In Somerville. March in Somerville, 3rd. nice. Right beyond Union Square. Yeah. Somerville out near PK. PK Lounge. PK Lounge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So um, that's at the Greek American Social Construction Club, known as the Greek, right? Yeah. Cool. And you can find all the details about the show on the Spark and Fizz Facebook page in case you're looking for them. Um, but you're playing with, who, who are you playing with again? Uh, we're playing with some fantastic acts. Ooh. Uh, Baby Driver. Baby Driver. And the Furniture. And the Color Orange. Yes, those would be the three three bands we're playing that night. And your band is the Color Orange, of course. Yes, Without Spaces. Without Spaces. So not the Color Orange, it's the Color Orange. You can use capitals if you like, but it's not really important as long as the spaces are nowhere to be seen. Right. You can find us on search engines. <laughs> and you can make a flyer or whatever, you know. That comes from the philosophy that there is no such thing as empty space, right? That entropy is pushing us all in this constantly diffused matter, but matter is everywhere, there's no emptiness. You read our bio, didn't you? I did, yeah. I did. I wrote it too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. If you want to make your own, come find me at the Spark and Fish shows coming up. March 3rd at the Greek American Club in Somerville. Thank you for showing me. Yeah, I'd thank you for coming out, piece. both of you. Now I don't have to fold pages like a Neanderthal. There we go. And if you want to find any color orange online, all of our albums are for free on Bandcamp, which is linked to our Facebook page. You look and up. thank you so much, Luna, <laughs> just for all that you've done. And thank you so much. Really, you were the highlight of oh, this well, thank day. You. It was really, I mean, I can't believe the kind of equipment you have <laughs> and how great you are at it. Thank you.